this isn't a numerical question. Here we're given a, an FM signal with two components, with two modulation indices, beta 1 and beta 2. And the question is, find the maximum frequency deviation. So find delta F. Presumably, they want this in terms of beta 1 and beta 2. So let's remind ourselves, what is delta F? Delta F is simply the maximum of the difference between the instantaneous frequency and the carrier frequency. The carrier frequency being that there. So that's the carrier frequency. So what we need to find is the instantaneous frequency. So we can subtract the carrier frequency and find delta F. So let's start in radians per second by saying the instantaneous frequency is the derivative of the instantaneous phase. So it's the derivative of that, the bit between the brackets, the argument for the cosine. So if you take the derivative of that, you simply get omega c plus beta 1 omega 1 cosine omega 1 t plus beta 2 omega 2 cosine omega 2 t. And therefore, I could say the instantaneous frequency in hertz is simply that divided by 2 pi. And that will give me fc plus b beta 1 f1 cosine omega 1 t plus beta 2 f2 cosine omega 2 t. Now, what we're trying to find is the difference between this and fc. So we simply subtract. And we're looking for the maximum value. And the maximum happens, the maximum value of the instantaneous frequency happens when this is equal to 1. Because remember, these are all adding together. So when will this be maximum? It will be maximum when all the cosines are equal to 1. So I can now rewrite that as delta F equals, so because I'm subtracting FC, and because these are both 1, I can simply write that as beta 1 F1 plus beta 2 F2. So this is the result that they were after. They said find the maximum frequency deviation delta F, and we've done that. In, so we could have written it like that, or you could have said it's beta 1 omega 1 over 2 pi plus beta 2 omega 2 over 2 pi. But I think that looks much better. So that's your final answer.